In this screencast, I'll show how I use clones in my everyday workflow. For example, here is how I went about fixing a recent bug involving abbreviations. I knew that the abbreviations code was in the Leo edit commands file. So first I found that file. Now I made a clone of the file and I moved it to the top level. Notice that the clone is also at the bottom of the screen, which is what I want. Now I found the code of interest. Which is the abbreviation class. Again, I make a clone of that of that code. And I move the clone to the top level. Again, I look for code of interest and here it is once again I clone the node and move it to the top level now I know that I'm not going to change any of the other code in the add file node so I may as well delete the clone I'll keep the abbreviation class clone around because I might want to change it. Now I look for code within the the helpers of this method and I'm particularly interested in the expand text method and also in the expand tree method. So now here I have four pieces of code all relevant to the bug I was trying to fix. But I want to focus my attention on the expand text method so I'll hide the other pieces of code. I'll create a recent folder if you will and I'll demote all the other items so now I can focus on this piece of code and that's just about it when I want to look for other pieces of code I can drag them out to the top level and focus on them one more thing when I'm finished fixing the bug I can simply delete all the clones Notice that Leo edit commands has not changed because the original code still remains.